Hey, what's up, guys? Today's video, I'm going to tell you guys how to organize your stuff. Uh, it's going to be a brief video because last night in one of my videos, I basically told you, but not really. Um, so, yeah, what you'll need to organize your hamster stuff is you'll need like a corner or a crate or some type of uh, something to hold your things or in a corner or whatever. Anyway, that didn't really work out, but whatever. Alright, so. Root beer is the bomb. <laughs> just to let you guys know, she's the bomb. Okay. So I have a really old crate here. It's dirty, but it's alright. I don't really care. It's not like stuff that I'm gonna, you know. It's not like they're gonna be eating anything. It's not closed up in here, so I'm not worried about it. Alright, so a really old green crate is what I have here. When at first I kept it in a corner, but uh, I'm moving, so, you know, of course, I have to have something to transport it in, and also it's just a good way to keep organized. Alright, so this is a pretty brief video. Um, so, yeah, let's say you're really not really happy with how unorganized you are, and you're all like. That is just really unorganized, right? And so, what you do is, is, <laughs> Chrissy, go, go, that cat, that's Prissy by the way, okay, my cat, she's at heat right now, okay, so, basically what you do is, you take one of your biggest things that isn't going to be easily crushed, like, let's say, a little shoe box that you use to put your hamster in or whatever. Sorry. You know, something that's not going to get crushed easily. Like, for instance, this would get crushed really easily, so you wouldn't want to put this on the bottom. Um, so, next what you want to do is, is after you got in your crate or got in your corner, you want to put the most unlikely thing that's going to get crushed. This is going to get crushed. This wouldn't, but you might need this often. This isn't going to get crushed, and I don't use it like every single day. Alright, so. And you definitely want to want, you would not want to put this. Well, I wouldn't, because I have a sneak that I use in here to refill it. So. I just, it's easier to pour it, but I thought it'd be pretty cool to have that. So to save space, you might want to keep it like that or something. You know, roll it up. But next, you want to put your bedding. I mean, you just put your bedding in the most biggest spot that there is there, unless it's a small bag. You can put this in there. And by the way, I just use this cardboard. Either if I want to make a toy, and we always have sodas in the house, so I'll always have cardboard here. Or if I want to make a toy, or of course, if my Samson, I meant my Samson, my hamster urinates on um, the cardboard. Oh, uh, excuse me for a second. What's the time? Three. Making sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't want to make this too terrible on a separate mm -hmm. video. Next, what you want to do is take your biggest hamster ball or your hamster ball, really big size difference here, and you put that in there, and then you put that one in there. And then you take your hamster food and make sure that it is zipped up or like folded so it doesn't spill out on you. Unfortunately, I don't think my zipper is going to work here. Yeah, it's not going to work. So we're going to fold it up really well. And we're just going to set it. Right between there. Okay. Then I take my little brush I use for my long-haired hamster. And I will just... Hi, baby. And I'll just... You know, 
talked about it. So, really organized, as you can see, from what else we had there. And, so this is Bubby, aka Anthony. Um, I call him Bubby, though. Ooh. So, Anthony, or Bubby, Percy, and Michaela. So, I'll catch you next time.